So I'm here with Ron with his Camaro. How are you, Ron? Not bad yourself, Scotty. Yeah, good, mate. What did you win today? Uh, top paint in uh, Elite. Ah, well done. That's uh, yeah, really well done, mate. So um, let's talk about your car. Yeah. So um, um, what what you Camaro is it? Uh, Sixty seven Camaro. Yep. Um, just a, a base model like a Kingswood. Yep. Um, the colours are that's the original colour. It's called Nantucket Blue. Yep. With the ivory stripes on it. Okay. Um, an original the, little engine? Yeah, the engine's a 327. Yep. The rods are blocking the crank original to the car. Yep. It's got um, DPR, um, DRP heads on it. Oh, yeah. Aluminium yep. heads, but they've been painted. Yep. The rocker car is original. It's a 71 Z28 air cleaner. Okay. Um, it's been converted to right hand drive. Okay. Did you uh, convert it to right hand drive? Or yeah, was yeah, it, I don't yeah. Know yeah, 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 after you bought the car. Yeah. So, um, what sort of exhaust system and everything? Uh, so you've all, got extractors. All, all exhausts there are one and five eight pipes. Yep. In a two and a half system. Yep. Twin system. Um, it's got magnified mufflers. We made all the exhaust system at home. Okay. I mean, I mate, bought, I bought a chicken. We made all the exhaust. Yep. So you actually you actually built the car in yeah, your shed, the didn't you? Car was built in my shed. Yeah. Wow, that's that's incredible. Yep. Right. Yep. And they did meet me. They done all the body and done all the paint. And stuff. Yep. So yep. I helped him with the prep. Yep. Uh, so we might just get Ed in and talk about the body. How are you, Ed? All good, Scotty. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. So how how would you start with the body? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, started with the body. It was all fit back to metal. Start, the quarter panels on it because they sold a heap of drama. They weren't really good accessory, but it's had a lot of modification with rear end. Okay. So Ed, you were Ed, you were talking about um, some of the body work, mate. Yeah, yeah. As I said, we replaced the turret on the car as well. Okay. Um, the back panels have all been off. It's fairly well stripped down. And it's called like a NASCAR shell. So okay. There's a lot left on the vehicle. Okay. Ron done a lot of the prep work. We, yep. We stripped the whole thing back to metal. Yep. Completely gutted out, so she was a bare bone shell, and we started from there and started rebuilding it and went forward from there. Original front guards and sheet metal. Okay. We're very lucky there. Ron had done the conversion on it himself and um, Junior Traverna. They did the work on that. Okay. Did all the conversion and got all that sheet metal sorted out there. Yep. Then I came in and finished all the sheet metal off on my back and then moved forward from there. So okay. it's had a hell of a lot of work, you know. Okay. We were very lucky to have original sheet metal on the front. Okay. Put door skins on the doors. Yep. And then squared all the quarter panels up and did all the silver work and all the body prep work ourselves and myself and one. So okay. he was a good apprentice while I had him. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. He worked well and uh, all the products on the vehicle, they're all PPG. Okay. PPG were great, come to the party on the PPG user. Yep. They've done a fantastic job, all the guys, we can't help, help thank them enough. Yep, yep. They gave us a heap of help with it. Okay. And uh, we did all the work on the cell phone in, in my booth, so okay. Really well. Yeah. Okay, well done. From engine to gearbox to diffs. All the colours, it's all PPG paint, there's no powder coat. Okay. Nothing else but paint on the vehicle as you can have a seat. Okay. And um, what? how many coats and how many glosses did you put on it? Yeah, this has got about uh, 
about six to seven coats of clear on the top coat. Okay. Before we do a fairly heavy blocking and polishing concept after that. Okay. Pretty involved, a lot of hours. Yeah. A couple of weeks to polish the shell alone. Okay. And then, uh, probably about another three weeks on all the panels. Okay. Especially after we did the ivory stripes, there's a lot of build up for the clear because these are dead flat there's no no edging on anything so you've got to block everything properly okay so when process. you put you put those on after or you put when them the on before blue, and... yeah when the vehicle was all blue then yep. we, then we mask up and do the ivory stripes and okay then clear coating right over the whole top of all that okay so then yeah. you don't get any um, no edge on there yeah, yeah. there's no edge fairly on there. big blocking process to block it back and get it all dead flat but yep because you've got two surfaces obviously with the white and the blue one's higher than the other so you've got to build that up to suit okay that's a skill isn't it yeah it is <laughs> A lot of work. Yeah, yeah. So Ron was saying that um, you painted in the quarter panels. Can we go and have a look at that? You, you took yeah, them off and painted them? Come around, mate. Taken off after they were repaired. We've changed all the lines in the top sides. This line all around the boot edge here is going to completely reshape. Okay, all around the back of the tail lights because the reveal area on the rear tail lights is never correct on these. Okay, with these lines here, we've matched all them up perfectly all the way along. Wow, up. once they were done, we then pulled them off and they were repaired inside and out. They have okay. to be perfect on the inside, obviously, for painting them. So yeah, yeah. we then did the repair process off the car. Okay. We painted them off the car. Okay. And then put them back on the car, so they have gloss from front to back. There's no uh, no area that's sort of marred in any, any shape or form. It's all gloss all the way through the uh, front door door. Wow, that's a skill to do that, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of work and, and very time consuming. Run one of the smooth finish. Him being a judge himself, he's yep. got a bit of an insight on what you got to do. Yeah. So uh, a bit of painstaking work to get it all glossed right through from front to back. Um, but we got it done in the end, so it's sort of come out pretty good. Yeah. Pretty so is out. that um, pretty much factory um, colour in the boot, that, that tartan? Was that... The tartan, Ron picked that out. That was a, uh, a colour he picked out. They had a very similar one at some stage. Okay. Um, but he's picked that one out. He did all the edging himself, made all the edging around the edge, and we've satin coated them with clear and all the, all the reveals are all done around there with it as well. Okay. And then every every piece on this has been uh, taken off and restored. Every Was there single any... part. There's yeah. not a part that hasn't been off the vehicle. Okay. Um, every section underneath, every clip, bracket, mould, it's all been um, taken off, yep. repainted in, in PPG product and put back on. Okay. Painstaking. Yeah. <laughs> Without scratching it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is right. That's the nature of the beast, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll come around the side here. Um, so you said you had door skins off. Yep. And uh, we're, we're um, when you take those off, you um, you weld along, you cut along the sides, and then re yeah, redo them. Off them. As a normal skin comes off, these yep. all come out from the inside edge here. These will come off. Okay. Being put back on. Um, being the accessory skin, a lot of modification to get them to fit properly. Okay. A lot of welding down the edges of each doors. So they've been welded completely right around the door. Okay. And the jams have been welded right around as well. So okay. A lot of work just doing that. Yeah. Wow. So, what sort of man hours, sort of, um, you know, from body to? I'd was it a couple of, couple of years build or what was it? About a 13 year build. Okay. In total. Okay. Um, not full time of course. Uh, Rod and I both got jobs. Yep. <laughs> I've got a shop I run as well so we had to squeeze it in between everything which slows everything down. If we yep. were working on a full time it would have been half that time. But yeah, yeah. We sort of spread it out which was okay but we ramped it up in the last six months to get it finished for her. So okay. It's good to get it knocked on the head. Yeah, yeah. And was it um, finished a week before, like everyone else? Or were, uh, pretty were you... much, a couple of nights before, yeah. There was uh, a few late nights on it, but uh, we sort of had a few days to spare, which was good. But, you know, there's always things you want to fix on to do later anyway. So yeah, yeah. a couple of little things he wants to do. Yep. Which didn't affect what we did here, but uh, yeah, it yeah. worked out really well. Yeah. And the interior, was that um, Rom did that, or did yeah, you? Yeah, Rom did all that. Yep. He, he, uh, he designed its sort of appearance. Yep. It's a bit of SS trim and 
a okay. Bit of, um, a bit of a standard trim as well, so yep. it's got a bit of both worlds in it. It's yep. got all set and finish and nice trims on it. Yep. Um, they don't have a console, they just want to hear shift on that gearbox. Okay. Standard steering wheel. Yep. Standard dash pad, but all, all set and coated at home. It's, um, it's classy, that's the look he wanted. Yeah, yeah, it um, looks impressive, mate. I don't, I don't think we can really get it on camera how good it is. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we might get uh, Ron back and um, have a chat with him. And um, thanks, Ed. No thanks for your time, all. mate. Thanks, buddy. Cheers, bud. Ron, yep. um, what did you inspire with the with the build, or what was um, what was the inspiration with uh, um, the Camaro? I wanted to build it like a it looked like a Trans Am type car. Okay. These are the wheels that they um, run on Trans Am. Yeah. Raced them when they were brand new. Yep. Have the um, no caps and stuff on them. Okay. So that's why I dunked like that. Yep. And um, you've always wanted a, a Camaro? Yeah, or? I always wanted a 68, but then I found out the difference between the 68 and the 67, so when I seen 67, I decided that's what I want. That was the car for yeah, you? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah.
I, I, as soon as I seen it, it was blue. Blue's my favourite colour, so I yeah, that this is going to stay as a blue car. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a great colour. Yeah, yeah. And it had a factory black interior in it, and I changed it to a, a factory um, white blue interior. Okay, okay. And it's got a um, it's got a SS steering wheel on it. Okay. The gearbox yep. is a T5 without an 86, 86 Camaro. Okay. The diff housing is um, which is one out of the car and it's got limited slips in it with three okay. five gears. It's got Commodore axles in it. It's got VN Commodore brakes on the back. It's got VT Commodore brakes on the front. Yep. It's got a VT booster and master cylinder. Yep. Um, Okay. It's got a Detroit Speed Quadralink in it. Yep. The, um, the petrol tank's been um, had a hunt, it's had 60, 60 inches chop, uh, 60, 60 mil chopped out of each side of the tank, short the tank so you can bring the exhaust out. Oh, the okay. What's it, what, are you running like a three inch exhaust or something? Uh, or? Two and a half. Okay, okay. Half. So to get a little bit of clearance? Yeah, because on Camaros you can't get the pipes out the back of the petrol tank. Ah, so right. You cut the tank down so it can get the pipes. Ah, right. The pipes come out the back. <laughs> yeah, no worries, mate. So, yeah. And you bought the car in Australia or did you I get it from. I bought the car from Blake and Danny and I yep. paid $16,000 for it. Okay. In, in uh, 2011. Okay. And then I started um, 
about six months later, I started to, started to build it. Yep. And um, I've just finished it for now. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well thanks um thanks Ron. Thanks no for the problem. chat mate. Not a problem. And um love your car I mate. Like it. No yeah, yeah, I reckon they will no mate. I love it. So no cheers, bud. Right.